your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. 22nd Annual Holiday Prep Classic at the Dotham Civic Center. And uh, we're going to turn it over to the announcer right now for the player introductions. Here are the lineups for both teams. First, for the visiting Enterprise Wildcats. Number 54, Davis Stevenson. Number 42, Travis Phillips. Number 40, Gilbert Foster. Number 34, Marshall Carter. Number 33, Chris Dwyer. Number 22, Sean Parham. Number 20, Ty Townsend. Number 15, Michael Lee. Number 10, Cameron Averett. All right, Wildcat fans, on your feet for the Wildcats, starting five. At guard, a 5'4 junior, number three, T.J. Wilson. At guard, a six-foot senior, number four, Chris Crouch. At guard, a 5'10 junior, number 12, Tyrone Mills. At forward, a 6'3 junior, number 23, Raven Gray. And at forward, a 6'3 junior, number 5, Nate Baxter. The head coach of the Wildcats is Gray Harrison. <clears throat> now the lineup for tonight's home team, the Dothan Tigers. Number 40, Antavius Phillips. Number 35, Deshaun Kennedy. Number 30, Lorenzo Thomas. Number 22, Cornelius Frazier. Number 21, Bud Duncan. Number 14, Oscar Humphrey. <clears throat> Number 12, Lance Peoples. Tiger fans on your feet for the Tigers, starting five. At guard, a 5'10 junior. Number 10, Julius Harper. At guard, a 5'10 senior. Number 15, Trey Critton. At forward, a 6'1 senior. Number 31, John Hughes. Forward, a 6'2 senior, number 44, Fred Foster. And at center, a 6'3 senior, number 33, Carlos Frazier. The head coach of the Tigers is Coach Jim Golden. Okay, welcome back. Uh, 
uh, well, I shouldn't say welcome back. We've already been here, but uh, we're set for an old-fashioned barn burn here with uh, not only a lot of tradition here for the Tigers and what they've done in this tournament over the years, but the rivalry that's uh, in the classroom and the city of Dothan and Enterprise and also on the gridiron of the football field for the Enterprise Wildcats and the Dothan Tigers. So that's what it's going to be like on this uh, hardwood floor tonight. Bobby, you're exactly right. These two teams, they have been competing. This is probably the oldest wire, uh, rivalry in the Winegrass area. And um, it's better known for football, but over the last couple of years, it's become a rivalry in basketball. What we're looking for tonight, both teams are very balanced in the scoring arena. Uh, Dothan scored uh, in double figures last night. Fraser had 22, Foster 17, Harper 15, and Thomas had 11. Okay, and for the Wildcats, uh, their big gun guys are number t number three, T.J. Wilson, uh, scored 12 points the other night. Uh, number four, Chris Crouch, uh, put in 17. Uh, number five, Nate Baxter, 22. And number 12, Tyrone Mills, put in 14. So fairly balanced attack from their starting five. So we're getting ready for the tip-off, and the tip-off goes to the Tigers of Dothan. John Hughes uh, passes over to number 15, Trey Critton. Over to Foster in the corner. Julius Harper. They get it over to Critton in the corner. Back out to Harper. Critton with the ball for the Tigers. Bobby, they're starting off taking their time. Foster. Critton uh, and back to Harper. Well, you know, last night they were so anxious uh, to get down and get the ball in. And uh, Dothan, uh, as we talk about it, they they turn it over, but they tried to go inside to uh, Foster under the basket and uh, weren't able to get it to him and it rolled away out of bounds. So Dothan used a lot of time that time and came up absolutely empty, turned the ball over on that first possession. They may have just overpassed it a little bit too much that time. That time a shot, but it was blocked by Fred Foster, and Dothan's on the run. Okay, uh, Enterprise unable to put the uh, basket in, so we're still scoreless. And we get a, a foul call on number three for the Wildcats. That's going to go against uh, T.J. Wilson, and that'll be team, uh, number, uh, foul number one tonight in the contest. Taking the ball out for Dothan is number 31, John Hughes. So we're a minute and five seconds into this game, and uh, no score as of yet. We're having a fishless time out, but uh, Bobby, we, I was reading the paper today, and uh, they were talking about uh, Coach Golan's comment about that type of game Dothan played last night. He wasn't very satisfied. Even though they won, the press gave them uh, big problems last night. Yes, it did. It was pretty obvious at times uh, with, uh, with Robert E. Lee putting the pressure on, so we'll see what the Wildcats do in uh, clutch situations here tonight. The Wildcats are coming off a big upset victory over one of the top-ranked schools in the state of uh, Georgia. And Trey Critton puts in a three for the Dothan Tigers, gets them on the board. Yes, Enterprise defeated Whitfield Academy, and that was a big upset, but I tell you, they played an excellent game, so I expect these two teams are really going to be going at it tonight. Well, Enterprise had gotten down, and then uh, they pull back up, and... Uh, and they just play. They played a tough ball game against uh, their team to advance for, advance for this game tonight. And it's going to be a, it's going to have to be a big shootout here for uh, for Dothan to uh, hang on to this win because it's not going to be an easy pushover. It definitely won't be an easy one. Uh, that one was uh, rebound was by Carlos Frazier, and he played an excellent game. And he picks up the rebound on the offensive side of the line. Harper shoots again, misses air ball, but Foster's there to uh, to get the rebound and tries to go up with it, and we get another foul call. That could be could prove to be trouble for Enterprise, Bobby, because Fred Foster and Carlos Frazier both are very physical and strong under the basket. Well, that goes against number five, Nate Baxter. Team foul number two as Foster comes to the line to shoot a pair. And he's pretty deadly at the line, so hopefully that holds true tonight. Foster was 9 of 11 from the line last night, and uh, he hits his first one tonight. So Dothan takes an early 4 nothing lead. Foster is playing his third year of varsity basketball, Bobby. He actually... Uh, 
started his uh, varsity career here at the tournament three years ago and played outstanding. He was a 10th grader. That's a steal from the Dothan Tigers. So Razor it, gets it. So Enterprise is yet to uh, com uh, make a shot. Dothan's leading 5 nothing. 5.39 left in the first period. Dothan almost loses it, but Harper regains the, the ball. Nice move to the basket in for two points from Julius Harper. That time Harper went between defenders, slipped and slid right between them and put the ball in for the basket. Dothan up 7 nothing. Right, Enterprise on the basket. They finally uh, get draw a basket uh, from number five, Nate Baxter. And it's a 7-2. So Enterprise gets on the board by Baxter with the layup by Baxter. Dothan back on offense. Harper over to Critton. Back to Harper. Harper had a couple of threes last night. Fred Foster breaks the baseline. Give it to him. He pitches it back out. Foster for a three from the corner, and it's good. Foster gets a three-point basket there. Five points on the line for Fred Foster. Foster's an excellent inside player as well as a really good three-point shooter, Bobby. It's a 10-2 uh, score for the Dothan Tigers over the Wildcats of Enterprise. Enterprise passes the ball around to number three, T.J. Wilson. He kicks it over to number 23, who misses. That was... Uh, Raven Gray taking that shot, rebounded by Fred Foster. Uh, Dothan Tigers, Critton brings the ball across uh, midcourt, and they set up their next play. Foster with it, he made a three the last time down. That time he threw it right into the hands of Enterprise, and they go in on the fast break, misses, and the rebound out to Frazier, and we knew what that was going to be. <laughs> Carlos Frazier on the jam. And we have a timeout call on the floor. Whew. I tell you, this is going to be a hot one, Mitt. Uh, Bobby, Bobby you, you knew what was coming up because you saw Frazier break on the rebound out toward the basket on the fast break, and they got it to him, and Frazier knows what to do with it once it gets in his hands. That is right. Of course, Enterprise had that opportunity to do that, and uh, the, the guy who really couldn't get his uh, position to go up for it, and he, uh, his, his, his layup was kind of hard, popped off the board, rebounded by the Tigers, and Frazier was wide open down there, and it was a real easy dunk for him. Okay, so uh, Enterprise will be taking the ball out of bounds, and uh, they're trailing 12-2 with 3.54 left in the first period, and so far in the first period, it's been all Dothan. They are uh, loose and free tonight, so uh, hopefully no momentary lapse in, uh, in uh, concentration on the game, and uh, they can keep pouring it on. Dothan won a tournament three years ago, and they went on to uh, advance to the uh, state championship game. A three-point shot from number four. Crouch misses. Dothan gets a rebound. Fast break down to Foster again. Over to uh, Julius Harper. He goes between defenders, gives it to Hughes, and he banks it off the glass, and it's good. Yeah, Hughes knew what to do with it uh, going in the baseline and uh, took that feed from uh, Harper and put it in for another basket, 14-2 to two now for the Tigers. Dothan's doing a good job of spreading the ball around. Bobby, all five starters have scored here in the first period. Three minutes to go. Wildcats moving the ball around, trying to find... Drive the shoots from uh, there. the three-point line. No good. Rebound goes to Hughes for Dothan. Kicks it out to Critton. So Critton. Foss in the corner. He drives the baseline. Kicks it to Frazier. He lays it up and in. Nice uh, unselfish move there from Foster to Frazier. And uh, puts in that two-point basket. 16-2. to two. Dothan's leading with 2.25 left in the first period. Enterprise get it down low and a shot by number 23 missed. Rebound goes to Crinton. Okay. Enterprise is just the ice cold right now, Bobby. They've been they've only been able to score one basket. They've had no rhythm whatsoever uh, just with that one basket. And uh, Dothan comfortable with a 14-point lead, almost a steal by Enterprise, but uh, Harper's able to maintain possession. Dothan has come out playing really aggressive tonight, and, and they, like I said, they're spreading the ball around, getting everybody involved in the game.
which uh, will, will make a big difference later in the game. That time they turn it over three seconds in the lane. That called a three-second lane violation against uh, Foster on that call. So uh, Dothan will be turning that one over. That's their second turnover of the game. So uh, they're... Uh, they're doing quite well in that department. Chris Krause brings it up for Enterprise. They're back on offense. They've only managed to pull, score one field goal. Ball goes over in the corner, and it's blocked out of bounds by Fred Foster. Big 44 slapped that one good. Chris Dyer tried to get the ball up from the corner behind the three-point line, and Foster put it up in the stands. A minute 25 in the first. Chris Crouch passes the ball back to Dyer. And Enterprise is having a hard time holding on to the ball. Dothan on the fast break. Harper brings it down, sets it up for the Tigers. Okay, Harper uh, with the ball. Goes inside to, to uh, Hughes, number 31. Critton, and now back to Harper again. Under a minute. Frazier jumps, shoots. It's a little long. It's rebounded by Enterprise. Enterprise on the fast break. And I think we're going to have a foul call. And they call it on Frazier, number 33. So that'll be uh, his first foul. Matter of fact, it's Dothan's first foul. So Frazier gets the first foul, and the Enterprise uh, will be tossing it in. Just over a half minute to go, 39.1 seconds. Enterprise passing the ball around in the corner to number four, Chris Couch. He misses. Frazier goes up with a one-handed, and gets a one-handed rebound. All right, uh, Dothan will probably go for one shot here with uh, just a little over 20 seconds left in the first period. 16 to 2 is our score. Dothan has come out and they have really stepped it up tonight, Bob. But they struggled last night against uh, Lee and they're trying to get some momentum going and try to win this game and go into the championship game with uh, momentum. Over the corner to Trey. Frazier shoots and he misses. So Dothan unable to cash in on that after they uh, ran the points off the scoreboard. And uh, so they got to wind up uh, leading at the end of the first period by a score of 16 to 2. Welcome back to the Civic Center. It's going to be period number two in this shootout with uh, 6A area powers, the Wildcats of Enterprise and the Tigers of Dothan High School. And Dothan has put it to Enterprise in the first period, Mitt. First period was all Dothan. They are leading 16 to 2. Enterprise finally got a basket with 514 left in the uh, first period. And uh, Dothan started off 7-0, and uh, they've run up a 16-2 lead. That's a two-point shot from number four, Crouch. So Enterprise comes out and scores early in the second period. All right, they put the press on. Trey Critton takes a shot, and he makes it. So Critton scores Dothan's first basket of the second period. Oh, Enterprise uh, has put the uh, full court press on against Dothan, but Dothan was able to maintain and come out with uh, a with two-point basket off of that series. I think what Enterprise is going to do is try to find some success uh, the way that uh, uh, Robert E. Lee did last night. Travis Phillips puts it in for two. So Enterprise has come out and scored uh, four points here Early in the uh, second period, they only had two in the first. Beautiful shot by Julius Harper. Harper took it to the basket for an easy two-point layoff, layup, and it's a 20-6 to six run for the Tigers. Dothan has been able to answer everything Enterprise has thrown at them here in the second period. Even though Enterprise has come out and scored two quick baskets, Dothan's done the same. Another two is an air ball, and Critton gets the rebound. Dothan back on the attack. Critton to Harper. Harper just moves around. He pulls up this time. Now to Critton at the top of the hole. And uh, he's going to get a foul called on number 12. That uh, is going against Tyrone Mills. And it's going to be a three-shot foul. Yeah, that time uh, Mills, uh, he, he got 
a portion of the ball, Bobby, but he got him with the body, so he was called for the foul. So Crin's going to be at the line. He was behind the three-point line, so Crin's going to be shooting three for the Tigers. Let's see what he can do from uh, free throw territory. It's in the air. It's good. One down, two to go. Quickly, they throw it out to him. Trey, uh, Trey sets it up, puts it in the air, and it's also good. So, uh, Critton is now with uh, seven points on the night. He's leading all Dothan scores. As a matter of fact, he's leading all scores. In fact, uh, he started the game tonight, uh, which is a, a sort of a different role for him. He's usually a, a substitutor, but uh, he, he had a great night in the game last night. Grinch has two of three, so it's a 22-6 game with 6.07 left in the second period. Enterprise Wildcats running their offense. Nothing happening on the inside for them, so uh, most all theirs has been perimeter shooting around the three-point line or just inside. They're going to call a foul on Frazier, and that's going to be his second foul. And Frazier's just, he's aggravated with himself that time. He thought he had set. But, but the official said no. So he's going to be sitting down for a while. So Lorenzo Thomas comes into the game. Thomas had an excellent game last night, Bobby. He came off the bench and scored 11 points for the Tigers. 5.45 in the uh, second period. New player in for, Do uh, for Enterprise, number 10, Averett. They get two shots and misses, and Dothan gets the rebound. I think Enterprise had planning on taking advantage of uh, Frazier going out of the game and uh, try to match up a little better. But look at that move to the basket by Harper. Harper is showing his stuff tonight, Bobby. That is the Julius Harper that we've seen in the past. He goes in, he puts on these spectacular moves and scores baskets. And Harper's also a great outside shooter. He can uh, drain it from three-point land like nothing. So Harper is starting to come on this year. He's, he's had kind of a slow start, even though last night he scored 15 points. He's very capable <laughs> of scoring in uh, way up in double figures. Well, you know, he's uh, already uh, with uh, uh, six on the night, so that's not a bad uh, bad start for Harper. And uh, when uh, they got that basket, uh, driving to the basket from Harper, because he's done that twice in this in this period, uh, Coach Harrison said, "Hey, we got to talk this thing over and ask for a full timeout." Yes, Enterprise was going to try and take advantage of uh, Carlos Frazier's two fouls and uh, try to move inside and try to uh, get something established, but Harper won't have that on the offensive side. He's come down and he's made a couple of big plays and. Uh, uh, Lorenzo Thomas, you know, he's, he's come into the game, and I expect big things out of him. Well, you know, of course, Dothan had uh, it's had some good uh, input from uh, guys off the bench last night, and that win, Peoples came in and contributed late. Uh, uh, let's see, Cornelius Fraser was in. He sc scored a couple of points. Uh, so Dothan just passed it around. Well, Bobby, you got to be able to uh, be able to go uh, have some depth on your bench in order to compete, especially when you get against really good teams. Enterprise working around the outside perimeter. Uh, nothing inside on, on this series. Ball goes over to Chris Crouch. He's got a three tonight. They pass it to number 42, Travis Phillips, who also has scored. Another Crowd turnover. Loses. And it goes out to uh, Harper on the fast break, and he pops it and puts it in. Point number eight for Julius Harper in uh, the first period and a half of tonight's contest. Harper has eight points for the Tigers of Dothan High School. Enterprise back on offense. They're passing around, and Enterprise got to do a better job of, of handling the ball, Bobby. They have not done a very good job, but that was a good rebound by Phillips. He turned around and puts it in. Good-looking move by Travis Phillips. Yes, it was a, a nice move getting the rebound and uh, drove away from the basket and did a quick turnaround jumper and put it in for the two. Dothan up 26-8 with 4.13 left in the second period. So far, it's been all Dothan. Score at the end of the first quarter was 16-2. Enterprise only managed to score two points in the uh, first period. But this period, they've come out and scored six points. 
five. Lorenzo Thomas gets in the action, puts it in for a two-point basket as they open up that inside lane again. We talked about uh, Thomas earlier, Bobby, how he's come off the bench and done an, done an outstanding job for the Tigers of Dothan. 12-6 uh, scoring opportunity for uh, Dothan in uh, this. They've uh, made 12 points to now eight for Enterprise. And number 42 comes to the line. Okay, uh, Phillips gets his sixth point of the night. And uh, the Tiger foul is on number 30, Thomas. Thomas picks up uh, a foul. But Phillips has uh, six of Enterprise's eight points. Phillips at the line for the Wildcats. All right, number 23 for Enterprise comes out. That's great. As we got a new player in 33, uh, Dwyer. Oh, he's, he was already in there. He's a starter. So Phillips hits one of one from the foul line. And he has seven points tonight. 28 to 11. 3.33 left. Second period. Dothan leading Enterprise. Harper going to the basket again. That time he throws it away. It was almost there, but uh, not quite any uh, happening on that one. 33 took a shot, missed it, and uh, that was a good hustle by number 33, Chris Dreyer. He's going to be going to the line to uh, shoot a couple, foul on Fred Foster, his first. So Phillips missed that free throw uh, he had just a few minutes ago, right? No, he made it. He made it? Okay. First shot up, it rolls around and rolls away. No good. 28 to 11, Tigers, 3.08 to go in the half. He makes it uh, on that particular one, so he's one for two from the line. 28-12, just over three minutes. Harper goes in, he scoops and lays it in again. He makes it look so easy, Bobby. He goes to double figures on that one. Ten points on the line for Julius Harper. Harper is challenging the big guys from Enterprise, and uh, he's been winning so far. And still by Foster. Foster. The crack, back back Foster. to Foster. Lays it up in <laughs> Good steal by Fred, and uh, also great uh, teamwork between him and uh, Critton. And Fred puts it in for a basket. Every time it looks like Enterprise about to get something going, Dothan comes back and answers it. Couch with the rebound, puts it up. No good. Tip in by Phillips, and it's no good. Enterprise gets the rebound. No good. And they keep it alive. Great hustle by Enterprise. Number 12, Tyrone Mills gets the rebound for Enterprise. Still uh, trying to get uh, something going in the inside. They found it. And it's good. That time, Baxter scored over Foster, and Foster was called for the foul. And that's going to be Fred's second foul. Down the basket by Baxter. The Tiger foul is on number 44, Foster. So Foster's not quite happy with uh, that, that particular call, but uh, two fouls. So uh, uh, both Dothan big men, uh, Foster and Frazier, have two fouls apiece. 32-15. It's a 17-point lead for Dothan. Full court uh, pressure here. They're going to try to press Dothan. They saw uh, how much success Lee had last night pressing Dothan. And they're going to see if they can have that kind of success. But uh, they haven't so far. No, uh, uh, Dothan has handled that press quite well. Partially blocked by an Enterprise player, but Dothan maintains possession. Harper comes back out, slowing it down once again. Dothan's going to try to run uh, some time off the clock here, Bobby, and, and, and take it into halftime with a good lead so they can get Foster and Frazier back into the game the second half. Honey well, sends it over to uh, Hughes. Hughes back to Harper again. A minute 24. Clock ticking. Harper again. <laughs> Harper is having an outstanding game tonight. Bobby. He's throwing the lane just wide open for him. And he's just a junior. 
But this is his third year playing varsity basketball, so he's experienced. And we gotta have an enterprise. Let's know. He's gonna call it on Dothan. Thirty-one. It's on Hughes, and it's gonna be his first personal foul. That's uh, team foul number six in uh, this half. Enterprise takes the ball out, inbounds it to Tyrone Mills. They get it in to uh, Travis Phillips, and it's blocked by uh, the other. It was blocked by the other Frazier. So we have a foul. Uh, Lorenzo Thomas. That's his second. So Dothan has three big players with uh, two fouls, Bobby. And Dwyer comes to line. He's one for two, but he's uh, won it, and he's got a one-and-one one situation, and he's one for two from the line thus far tonight. And he puts it up, and it's good, so he gets the opportunity for the bonus. Two points on the night for Chris Dwyer for Enterprise. He misses the second and uh, had a lane violation. Hughes getting a call for a lane violation on that one. And Coach Gould is letting him know it too. <laughs> yeah, what, what they're going to do, he missed that one too. What they're going to do, Bobby, is um, try to just run the clock out and go into the dressing room at halftime. That's what they wanted to do last time. But this is what they're really going to try to do this time and hopefully not get another, uh, pick up a, a foul, another foul on uh, one of the Dothan players. Across the court four over to uh, number 31 Hughes. Now back to Harper again. We're under 30 seconds. Dothan have uh, three players with two fouls. Foster, Frazier, and Thomas. 16 seconds. 15 from Trey, and he makes a three. Creighton with this second three-pointer of the game. Saved back in bounds by Cornelius Frazier. Shot no good at the buzzer. So what a, what a period from Dothan. Uh, they lead 16-2 at the end of uh, the first period of play, and they, they lead this thing 37-16. Uh, to 16. So Enterprise picks up uh, 14 points and in that period. And what does uh, Dothan do, uh, 11? No, Dothan scored 21 points. 21 points? Yes. So, uh, yeah, they had 16, and they scored and they had 37, so it's 21 points. So a pretty good uh, output from uh, Dothan in the first and second period, and the, they lead this thing 37 to 16 at the half. Big thing that we got to look at here in this uh, second half, though, is going to be these fouls that we're in. Fred Foster and Frazier and Thomas, each with two apiece, and uh, Enterprise only committing three fouls in that first half. So we'll we'll uh, come back and bring uh, more uh, information to you in just a moment. Hello and welcome back to the Dothan Civic Center where the Dothan Tigers and the Enterprise Wildcats are going at it on the hardwood tonight. And the Tigers have the better end of it thus far at halftime. The score is 37 to 16. And uh, here's a bit to run down the Dothan High scoring for you in the first half. Bobby, Dothan score was very balanced. Leading the pack tonight is number 10, Julius Harper, who has just played an outstanding inside game. Trey Critton has 10. Fred Foster, 7. Carlos Frazier, 4. And John Hughes has 2. On the Enterprise side, leading scorer is number 42, Travis Phillips. He has seven points. All right, Critton stays in the game. Harper, uh, along with Frazier, and uh, 31 is John Hughes. And, of course, uh, Fred Foster and uh, Carlos Frazier. That time blocked by Enterprise. And they go, come on to fast break, and we're going to have a traveling, traveling call. Traveling against Mills. So that's a turnover for them, and Dothan not able to cash in on their first possession as well. Bobby, one big thing in the game, if we had to say one big thing in the first half, 
Enterprise managed to score only two points in the first period. So they dug themselves a, a, a deep hole early in the game. Dothan had a 16-2 lead at the end of one. So Enterprise continuing to try to put uh, that full court pressure on them, but Dothan so far has been able to handle it quite well. They really have. Dothan's up 37-16 going into the beginning of the and uh, beginning of the third period. And uh, Foster just picked up his third foul, Bobby. Uh -huh. Wow, that, that, could, that could hurt Dothan. So he'll come to the bench, and number 30, Thomas, comes in, who has two points on the night, but he has two fouls against him. So Dothan foul trouble could be a problem for them. They have uh, Carlos Frazier with two, Thomas with two, and Foster with three. So Enterprise uh, down on our end of the, of the court tonight, and we'll see how well they can do in this half as they keep moving it around the perimeter. Bobby, they're going to try to force it inside to uh, try to draw some fouls, try to get Dothan deeper in foul trouble. Phillips uh, drives the basket and does put it in. Frazier now back out to Trey Critton as they set up their offense. Over to Harper, almost throws it away. And we got a reaching in foul, number 12. Uh, which is Tyrone Mills. He'll pick up his second. Tigers, uh, I think Enterprise is going to come out this second half and try to stop Julius Harper because he's been penetrating and, and getting inside and making the baskets. Dothan throws it in. Out to Trey Critton. Dothan scoreless here in the second half, and that time they throw it away, and it goes back to Enterprise. So it's a 37-18 game, 6-12 left in the third period. Uh, so we're uh, Enterprise has put a couple of points on this this period, and uh, Dothan is scoreless. And you'll see Enterprise; they're going to try to take it inside, Bobby. That time, Carlos Fraser went up strong for the rebound, and he comes down with it. Out to Julius Harper. Yeah, he just uh, really reached in and grabbed that. Harper goes to the basket again. <coughs> and we get a jump ball call. Now, well, now we got a one set jump ball, and the other guy calls a foul. The Wildcat foul is on 12 Mills. Okay, Mills. That'll be his third. So that could spell trouble for Enterprise because Mills has been the only one really doing much on the, well, Phillips. Phillips is the one that's been doing a lot of work on the offensive side. Keep the trucks rolling, guys. Right in to Harper, 542. Dothan still scoreless in this period. And we've almost had three minutes to elapse in the third period, and Dothan is yet to score. But Enterprise has only managed to score two points. Dothan spreads out the floor. Harper with the ball. Now he tosses it over to number 30, Thomas. Back to Harper. Trey Critton almost uh, took a three, but uh, it's decided better of it. But he'll do it this time. Rims the basket, misses, but uh, it's a tap in from number 33, Carlos Frazier. Bobby, I was just about to say for Dothan to continue to put it on. They've got to uh, get Carlos Frazier involved in offense. And that time, he tipped it back in for the basket. That's only his sixth point in the game thus far. Frazier had an outstanding game last night. He scored 22 points. Five. Number five, Baxter puts it in for two. That's uh, his seventh point in the game. Harper over to Thomas and it's blocked. Great block by the Enterprise team that time. It looked like uh, Thomas was going to have a clear shot to the basket, but Enterprise was waiting on it. Trey Critton uh, was able to come back out with it. Sets up a new uh, offensive set for Dothan. So they come out to uh, Harper again and set up another one. Harper pitches it back over to Thomas. That time he faked going up, and he's fouled. And we have another whistle. This is going to go on number five, Baxter. 
That'll be his second. Oh, that'll be nice number 44, Phillips. Phillips, I'm sorry, man. So number 31 in the line, John Hughes for the first time. He's got two, uh, two points thus far. And this is his first attempt from free throw territory. First one's off. Thirty-nine to twenty is our score. So both teams are kind of ice cold here in the uh, halfway through this third period. It takes the second one. So Hughes hits one of two and put Dothan up by twenty, their largest lead of the game. Four ten to go in the third period. Enterprise with the ball, uh, 33 Dwyer with it, and then he sends it over to uh, Wilson, who's just come in the game, to number four Crouch. And Wilson again, 4-3, and he makes it. That time Wilson drains the three for the Enterprise Wildcats. It's a 40-23 to game. Dothan back on offense. Critting with the ball for the Tigers, and they've slowed it down here in the third period, Bobby. Trey Kitten and Harper just uh, all the way out near center court. They're going to make uh, the Wildcats come get them. Sets up a new play as Harper. Thomas back over to Harper again. Dothan is really spread out on the floor. Thomas, Harper. Oh, they make an enterprise come to him. Trey Critton uh, drives toward the baseboard, but nothing there. Backs it back out. Out to Harper. Under three minutes in the period. Dothan is just trying to take some time off the clock, Bobby. Harper goes, he fakes and puts it in. That was a nice look away move by Julius Harper. That's his 14th point in the game, man. Nice move, move to the basket from Phillips. Phillips has played an outstanding game for Enterprise. He has 11 points. He's been pretty good down low for the Wildcats of Enterprise. We got a whistle call on number three, I believe, for Enterprise, which would be Wilson. Yep, that'll be his second. The Wildcat foul is on three, Wilson. His second personal foul, fourth team foul. And a timeout's called on the floor, so uh, it, we can kind of analyze what's been going on here. There's not been a lot of scoring in this half. Uh, 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 Dolphin scored Enterprise. five in uh, Enterprise. Well, Enterprise has scored nine points here in the second. Right. Half and yep. Dothan is the only man to score five. <laughs> but so. with the 210 here, it's a 42 25 score. Uh, Dothan uh, still, you know, in pretty good shape here, but the concern is with uh, number 44, Fred Foster, with, uh, with three fouls, Carlos Frazier with a pair, and Lorenzo Thomas with a pair. That uh, That's pretty tough. But, and over on the other side, uh, that you got uh, T.J. Wilson and with two, Tyrell Mills with three, and Phillips ha only has one foul in the game so far. So they got some fouls to give. They've only committed one foul in this period where Dothan's committed four. Yeah, you're exactly right. And uh, Enterprise has done a good job coming out the second half and putting some points on the board. Trying to cut that lead. They had fallen behind by 20 points with two with uh, 410 left in the third, but they've managed to uh, chip away at that lead. Uh, they're trailing now by 17 points. Once. And uh, I tell you what, if you got to talk about the outstanding player in tonight's game, it's got to be number 10 for Dothan Julius Harper. Harper has come out and he's put on a show. Yes, he has, and I need to reverse that. Now, Enterprise has committed four thousand this period. Dothan's only committed one. <laughs> Frazier just made that look so easy, Bobby. He just slid through the defenders and slammed it through. Under two minutes in the third. Enterprise looks to the three, but uh, doesn't take it. Number four, Crouch, takes a shot, and he drains it. That was a good-looking shot that time by Crouch, Bobby. A two-point two basket point, by yeah. Crouch. Harper 
Over to number 22, Carlos Fraser. Uh, Cornelius Fraser, rather. We have Carlos and Cornelius. They are twins and they look just alike. It goes to Cornelius and he couldn't hold it, so it goes out of bounds off of Dothan. So Enterprise get the ball back with 122 left in the third period. They're trailing 44 27. And he was wide open under that, uh, on that toss and uh, couldn't handle it. We got a that, charging foul against number five. That time, uh, Frazier got the charging foul. In the past, they've called uh, blocking on Frazier called Caesar. But uh, that time, it's called against Enterprise. All right, pressure from, uh, from Enterprise, full court wise, as we get uh, to approaching the one minute mark. Enterprise, Enterprise, they get it. Dothan get it across midcourt, goes to Carlos Frazier, to Critton. They're going to try to run some time off the clock. 52 seconds. Hughes for three. Misses. That's Thomas, excuse me. Thomas for three, yeah. Enterprise on the break. They're trying to get some more points. Wilson goes for it. Misses. Rebound goes to Lorenzo Thomas. Out to Jews Harper. He brings it across midcourt for the Tigers of Dothan. They're up 44-27. 30 seconds left in the third period. And they got to go for, try to go for just one shot in this period. Uh, approaching the 22nd mark. Cornelius Frazier gets it, and he pitches it back out. It goes to Critton. Critton drives the baseline, gives it to uh, Carlos Frazier. He floats through there, misses. Enterprise gets it. At the buzzer, no good. So, uh, not a wild third period. It was uh, kind of cautious. 44-27. Uh, uh, Dothan's going to take this uh, lead into the uh, fourth period at, at a 44-27 score. And we'll uh, talk about that uh, just as we start the fourth quarter in just a moment. Welcome back to the fourth and final uh, period of action here at the Dothan Civic Center tonight during this uh, 22nd annual Holiday Prep Classic. And we have a classic here between uh, two 6A powers in the Wiregrass, the Enterprise Wildcats and the Dothan High School Tigers. And it's been Tigers all the way tonight, Mitt. Bobby, you're exactly right. I tell you, Dothan started off and they uh, scored 16 points in the first period. Enterprise managed to score only two. They dug themselves a deep hole early in the game, and they've been trying to dig... Uh, dig out the, the rest of the uh, game. Number 23 drives a basket. Nothing there. Frazier comes up with the rebound. Dothan, their first offensive possession of the fourth period. They're taking the time. They're up by uh, 17 points, so they don't have to get in a hurry. Enterprise is one that's got to be in a hurry, try to uh, create some things, right? But they're going to have to try to create some steals and uh, force some turnovers and get some easy baskets on the fast breaks. And, uh, of course, uh, Coach Golden said last night Dothan was just a little impatient at times, and uh, their patience uh, looks to be a little better tonight. And they had a late game last night. Uh, we left here about 11.30. So, uh, Dothan, uh, not a huge uh, amount of rest for the day, but uh, it's not showing up at this time. Well, I think one thing they're trying to do too, Bobby, is not exert so much energy because if they win tonight, they got to play in the championship game. So, they are doing all they can to try to preserve the lead without... Uh, without uh, exerting too much energy. That was a great hustle by the Dothan team. Yeah, two players over there going for it. And uh, Harper comes up with it. And, of course, he's a great ball handler anyway. And, and, Bobby, that's what a coach loves to see. He loves to see his players go after those loose balls. And uh, and and when you do put forth that kind of effort, it, it normally pays off big time for you. Harper backs out. Uh, Frazier comes out to receive the ball at the top of the key is number 44, Fred Foster. He tosses back to uh, Frazier again. Back to Harper. Dothan is taking two minutes off the clock here in the fourth period, Bobby. They're just trying to eat that clock up and uh, 
just uh, make Enterprise, you know, just dig a deeper hole for them. But that time they got a five-second call. Hey, so uh, they took some time off the clock, but they didn't get anything out of it. That's right. Uh, but, you know, that really wasn't a, wasn't a costly turnover for them uh, because they were able to melt the clock a little bit, and I think we're going to see more of that. Enterprise on offense, and they've really got to try to get some big points. They're going to probably go for a few threes, Bobby, and try to see if they can get some big points right quick like that time they shot, and the rebound goes to Critton for Dothan over to Julius Harper. All right, Dothan uh, with the attack. Mr. Ball Handler himself. Uh, Harper driving to the basket. And uh, it doesn't fall for him this time. Well, he feel it. <laughs> they, they fouled it pretty hard. Harper has been very successful driving the ball in and, and uh, getting the, 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 the layups tonight. Number 12. Mills, that's his fourth. And Harper comes to the line for the first time tonight. Uh, what's he at with 14 points thus far? Harper has 14, make it 15. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He makes his first one. And he makes both of them. Harper scores two. So Harper has 16 points. He's leading all scores. You know, uh, one thing, uh, by, by, uh, the Dothan players had on their mind, Enterprise eliminated them last year from the uh, tournament. Uh, so Dothan was ousted early in the tournament, and they remember that from last year, so they came out tonight. They they wasn't going to let Enterprise put them in the same position again this year. Right, and uh, number 44, Fred Foster, picks up his uh, fourth foul with uh, five minutes to go. Uh, yeah, three minutes, almost three minutes has run off the clock in the fourth period. Man. Dothan has scored uh, a couple of points, and Enterprise has not scored any until that free throw uh, at that time from number five. Uh, Nate Baxter. That's his eighth point in the game. All right, Baxter gets set for his uh, second free throw attempt. It's up, and it's good. So, Baxter's perfect from the line. He's 3 of 3 from, from the line for the Wildcats of Enterprise. And Harper is tripped by number 12. Tyrone Mills, and that's going to be it for Mills, Bobby. Yep. So gonna, foul is on 12 Mills. His fifth. His fifth personal foul. So he's fouled out. So Cameron Averett will be coming into the game, and uh, his, uh, of course, Mills played some good defense. No points uh, for him tonight, but... Uh, yeah, see, Bobby, he, he's a, a really good defensive player. And a lot of times, if you're an aggressive defensive player, you get a lot of fouls. And that time, uh, he tripped Harper, and then there was his foul foul of the game. So Dothan moves into the bonus. So Harper can uh, add a couple of points here if he can make the front end of this one and one. He puts it up. It's there. He's perfect on the night. Oh, and that was short. He misses the second one, and they call a lane violation on Dothan. So 4.59 left in the fourth period. Dothan uh, leading 47-29. Frazier was hit for that uh, that infraction as getting in the lane too quickly. Enterprise got to start shooting some threes here. They're running out of time. Rebound goes to number 21 for the Tigers, who's new into the game, Bud well, Duncan. Yeah, that's his first uh, entry into the game. Like you talked about, uh, Bobby, earlier, about how the subs are just uh, contributing to the game. Carlos Frazier on the putback, and it's good. So Frazier trying to get into the act now. That's, uh, that's his 10th point of the night. Three-point shot is uh, an air ball. Well, it did hit uh, the rim. Bud Duncan gets his second rebound, is, and he's just got into the game for the Tigers. Harper in the corner. 
Trey Critton has uh, played a great ball game tonight, too, Mitt. He's been in the game all the way. Yeah, Critton has 10 points. Beautiful pass down to Bud Duncan from Frazier. Nice feed to Frazier from Frazier to Duncan. Easy layup. Nothing puts in another two. Number 30. Thomas Baxter. Baxter. With that one. Yeah, Baxter with the basket. Count the basket by Baxter. The Tiger foul. So Baxter has 11. So, so Thomas picks up his third foul of the game. Okay, Octavius Phillips Baxter comes in. He's a 6'2 senior for uh, the Tigers. This will be his first action as Thomas comes to the bench. So... Uh, it was that Baxter made his first. Baxter, three. yeah. Baxter's 4-4 four, four for 12 points in the game. Critton drives toward the basket, pulls back out, try to reset things. Great hustle by number 33 of Enterprise, Dreyer, uh, tying the ball up. So Dwyer, but uh, apparently Dothan had the arrow, so they get to keep it. Tigers inbound the ball to number 40. 40 yeah, that's uh, Phillips. Antonio Phillips. Great anticipation by Enterprise that time. And a slam by number five. Baxter slams it down for his 14th point of the game. Frazier passes over to Duncan. Kicks it back out with the Duncan in this number 21 for Dothan. Harper still in the game for the Tigers, still controlling the floor. That time he lost control and he was called for double dribbling and it would go to Enterprise. So the Wildcats uh, are able to keep a scoring opportunity from the Tigers. And they need to come down and take a, a quick three if they expect to get into this thing in any way at all. There's the three shot. It's short. Rebounded by the Tigers. Uh, Bud uh, Duncan gets uh, a third rebound. That's Duncan's third rebound since he's been in the game, and he's done a good job coming off the bench. Three rebounds, and he scored a, a basket for the Tigers. Two and a half minutes left in the game. Over to Critton, who takes a three. So Critton hits his third three of the game. What a night this guy's had. 13 points for Trey Critton. Another three from Enterprise is off its mark. And Bud gets another rebound. Four rebounds for Duncan since he's been in the game. Timeout on the court called by Enterprise. Bobby, we talked about subs coming into the game for the Dothan Tigers last night. It was uh, uh, Thomas coming into the game, and he came in off the bench, scored 11 points, and contributed in many ways. And tonight, number 21, Bud Duncan's come into the game, four rebounds and two points. That's right, and uh, you know those those rebounds are, are big keys. Uh, we can't say enough about the play of Trey Critton tonight, uh, getting a start uh, with three threes, a, a field goal, and he's two for three for the line. So uh, he's had a, a 13 point effort in uh, in this game with uh, one tick under two minutes left. Uh, it's it's a big hole that Enterprise has got to climb out of to get in. They got to score quick and keep Dothan from scoring. You're exactly right, Bobby. Uh, they dug themselves a big hole in the first period. If you look, Dothan's up 54 to 34, 20 points, 16. 14 points of that lead came in the first period. Enterprise was only able to must up two points. So they dug themselves a 14-point hole, and they've been trying to get out of it ever since. And uh, they haven't cut the lead to any less than probably 16 points. Well, in, the, in this uh, quarter, Dothan has poured in 10 points and only seven for Enterprise. Now, Enterprise had a pretty good third period. They outscored Dothan 11-7 to seven in the third. But since then, it's been all Dothan. Deshaun Kennedy is in the game along with Lance Peep. Peoples. Peoples driving toward the basket. And he's going to be fouled by number 22, uh, Sean Parham. 
That'll be Parham's first foul. The Wildcat foul is on 22 Parham. At the line for the Tigers is Lance Peoples. He's going to be shooting two. So Harper's out of the game now. He's had a great night and gets a, a little bit of a breather. Peoples comes in, misses his first three throw attempt, but he makes the second one. So as we say, Peoples on the book tonight. Peoples on the book. <laughs> He's on the book. Enterprise with the ball. It goes to number 34, Marshall Carter. Almost a steal by Peoples. Back over to 22, Sean Purham. 20 is uh, Ty Townsend. That time, uh, Frazier, the other Frazier, uh, with the block. Enterprise tries, and I'll tell you what. Frazier finally got that one. That was uh, Kanias Frazier going up high a couple of times for the Tigers of Dothan. And he's just a freshman, Mip. 6'3". What kind of career is he going to have at Dothan? Uh, who knows? I'll tell you. Nice drive to the basket. Missed. And Frazier gets the rebound, goes up and puts it in. Courtney is Frazier. He gets into the scoring action. 57-34. Dothan on top of Enterprise. 42 seconds left. There's number 40. Foster puts in for two. That's his first points of the ninth Enterprise. Under 30 seconds left. Peoples. Peoples. Draws Peoples. another foul. Peoples with the little fancy ball handling that time. He tried to drive it into the basket, and he was fouled. So he's going to be going to the line to shoot two more. He was two. He's two. Uh, one of two from the line. Number 34, so Carter. Is on 34, Carter. His first personal foul, team So Peoples gets an opportunity here for two shots again. One and one. one, one. It's a one and one. And he makes that first one. That gives him two points on the night. Two for three from the line. And the second one's in the air. It's also good. People scores two. Foul by uh, Cornelius Frazier. Cornelius Frazier. Ten seconds left. Nothing has that biggest lead of the game. They're up 23 points, Bobby. And they pretty well got this. We can we can go ahead and call it at this point, don't you think? Oh, yes, we can call it. They'll be in the championship game tomorrow night against the winner of the Ashford Graceville game. Gilbert Foster hits his first foul shot. He's going to be shooting two. He makes them both. Foster scores two. Seven seconds, five. But Duncan tries to the basket, lays it in. Five. Duncan has Duncan has come off the bench tonight, Bobby, and, and, and done a remarkable job for the Tigers, getting four rebounds and scoring four points in, in the short time he was in the game. Julius Harper finishes the night with a total of 17 points. Uh, Lance Peoples comes in late and picks up the slack. Uh, scores uh, three or four free throw attempts. Uh, Trey Critton, uh, great ball game for him tonight. Four, that's nine, and four is what, 13? Good night for Critton. Duncan, Critton had 13, yes. Okay, uh, Duncan finishes up with uh, four points in a, in a relief effort. Cornelius uh, Fraser, he picks up a couple of points tonight. Lorenzo Thomas comes in late. He, uh, he uh, makes uh, points. John Hughes uh, picks up a couple of points. Carlos Fraser gets two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 points on the night and a great night for Frazier. Fred Foster, an off night for Fred because he got in foul trouble. He uh, finished his night with seven points. Okay, Bobby, let's check the Enterprise sound. Uh, Enterprise lead score was uh, number of five. Nate Bites, came on late to, to lead the score. 
scorers of Enterprise. He had 14 points. Uh, Travis Phillips had 11 points for the uh, Wildcats of Enterprise, followed by uh, four points from Chris Crouch, three from T.J. Wilson, two from Chris Dreyer, and uh, Gilbert Foster had four. So it was a tough night for Enterprise. They started off way behind, Bob, and they came out uh, uh, in the first period. It started off very slow. Uh, they didn't score in the first period to two minutes and 25 seconds left in the first period when they uh, – uh, 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 no, it was uh, 5.14 left in the first period before they scored, and uh, Dothan had a 7-0 lead. Enterprise uh, – Scores by quarter, end of the first, Dothan led 16-2. Halftime, Dothan 37, Enterprise 16. End of the third, it was 44-27, to Dothan. And final score, 61-38. to So Dothan will be in the championship game for the second time in four years. So uh, I know they're looking forward to that. They were eliminated last year by the Wildcats of Enterprise, and they wasn't going to let... Uh, let Enterprise repeat that feat again this year. So uh, that's going to about wrap it up from the Dothan Civic Center, where the final score is Dothan winning over Enterprise 61 to 38 on behalf of uh, Bobby Price and our cameraman Stephen Short. I'm Mitt Kirkin saying good night from the Civic Center. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.